shark tears off diver's head in seconds, turning the sea red. Welcome back, brave souls, to another heart-pounding episode of Deadly Beaster's Attacks. In this video, we'll be discussing a deadly shark attack that occurred off the Mendocino coast of California. From jaw-dropping mysteries to unbelievable stories of survival, we've got it all covered in this episode. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed by the incredible content we've got in store for you today. We'll dive deeper into the details of the attack and explore what we can do to reduce the risk of shark attacks in the future. Let's get started. It's a story that's both tragic and terrifying as we learn about the attack that took the life of a seasoned diver, Randall Fry. Randall Fry's love of diving was not just a hobby. It was a passion that drove him to explore the depths of the ocean and search for marine snails that he could add to his collection. He had spent years diving off the Mendocino coast, and he knew the waters like the back of his hand. He was confident in his skills as a diver and had encountered many different types of marine life without incident. But little did he know that his next dive would be his last. The attack occurred off the rocky Mendocino coast of California. Randall and his friends, Cliff Zimmerman and Red Bartley, anchored in the cove of Kibasilla Rock, which was about 10 miles away from Fort Bragg, according to the Daily Star. Randall and Cliff began driving in shallow waters, approximately 15 feet deep and 150 feet from shore. Randall was an experienced diver and had been diving in these waters for years. Abalone, the type of snail Randall and his friends were searching for, is a delicacy in many parts of the world, including California. It is found in rocky coastal areas, which is why Randall loved diving in these waters. Randall's friend, Cliff, told the San Francisco Chronicle that Randall was an experienced diver who knew these waters well. He was a skilled spear fisherman and had caught many abalones over the years. Cliff, who was diving with Randall, described the attack as horrific. He heard a noise which he likened to a whoosh, like a fast-moving submarine or boat. He looked up and saw the shark's dorsal fin. He didn't know what kind of shark it was, but he knew it was big enough to kill. The shark was around 18 feet long and as big as a pickup truck, according to Cliff. Cliff tried to yell for help, but he could see that the attack was fatal. The amount of blood in the water was overwhelming, and he knew there was no chance of saving Randall. He said he was in shock and couldn't move. He watched helplessly as the shark tore off Randall's head and turned the sea red with blood. After the attack, Cliff managed to get back to the boat and alert Red Bartley, who was still on board. They immediately called for help, and a search and rescue mission was launched. However, it was too late. Randall's body was found the next day, but it was too damaged to be recovered. The attack sent shockwaves through the local community, and many people were afraid to go back into the water. The Mendocino Coast is known for its beautiful and rugged coastline, but it's also home to a variety of marine life, including great white sharks. Attacks like the one that killed Randall Fry are rare, but they do happen. Sharks have been around for millions of years, and they play an important role in the ecosystem. They help maintain the balance of the ocean's food chain and keep populations of other marine life in check. However, they can also be dangerous to humans, especially when they mistake us for their natural prey. There are several things people can do to reduce their risk of being attacked by a shark. For example, it is a good idea to avoid swimming or diving in areas where sharks are known to be present such as near seal colonies or in murky waters. It's also important to avoid wearing shiny jewelry or clothing that might attract sharks. Many people also choose to use protective equipment, such as shark cages or shark repellent devices. These devices can help deter sharks from attacking humans, but they are not foolproof. The best way to reduce the risk of being attacked by a shark is to stay informed about shark activity in the area and to follow basic safety guidelines when swimming or diving in the ocean. Would you still swim or dive in the ocean even after hearing about this fatal shark attack? And what do you think could be done to better inform people about shark activity in their area? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching our video about the fatal shark attack on diver Randall Fry in California waters. We hope that this story has shed light on the importance of being informed about shark activity and taking necessary precautions when swimming or diving in the ocean. Remember to stay safe and informed about the wildlife in your local area. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more information and interesting content. See you in the next video.